walk a day keeps the doctor away. Now, I wrote a, uh, an article some two years ago saying 15,000 steps a day keeps the doctor away. Now, of course, one walk a day could be 15,000 steps, but that's not the point. I've tried to make it easier. Because um, people, when they read the 15,000 step article, think, how the hell do I have time for that? Which is a fair enough point. Um, I try to make time, but I don't always manage. So this, in this article, I explain a few things, how you can make your, your health and fitness journey easier. Um, basically, it all starts with the walking. If you haven't, or if you're not doing much uh, exercise or anything in form of movement at the moment, start walking. Everybody can walk. It's accessible to everybody for free. Um, okay, if you're in a cold climate right now, it's a bit more tricky, then you may have to go indoors on the treadmill. But listen, I'm talking about general concept here. Now, this is the way you can achieve optimal fitness and health. And they, it, this comprises of one, two, three, four elements, okay? Number one, walking, walking alone, just walking. If you're doing nothing, just walk, 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 for one hour a day, if you can. That'll, that'll bring you to about or five miles, which is fantastic. You're only burning a ton of fat because you're in the aerobic zone and you're not stressing your heart at all. That's number one. Number two, you combine walking with bodyweight training. Easy to do. You don't like going to a gym like me. You just go out on your walk and then you drop after 10 minutes and do some push-ups, as many as you can, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, to start. And then you do a plank for as long as you can, be it 15 seconds, 20, 30, 45, as long as you can. Push yourself a little bit. And then you do another exercise, say, squats. Squats or lunges along the way. And then you get back up and you walk for another 10, 15 minutes, and then you do it again. Two to three sets like that. If you want to add on to, to that, you want to do a little bit more, you can do the sideways plank, for example. On each side like that, arms up, boom. And you've got a great workout for your, for your side and for your core, for your chest, shoulders, arms, and legs. So it's wonderful. And it's done in like, you can do one set in two, three, four minutes, maximum, you know, and you repeat that two, three, four times, depending on how you feel when you're out, great. Number three, you combine walking, again, with sprinting. Easy to do. So, let's say you're out on a walk, and you're feeling up for it. Okay, you know how sprinting works, right? You've just got to run as fast as you can, flat out. Ideally for 60 meters or so, but you don't have to. Just sprint for, let's say, 10 seconds, as fast as you can, 10 to 15 seconds, just dash, 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 dash and then stop. Measure your heart rate. If you know how to do that, you have to hold your, your, your neck here so you can feel your pulse. And then you count, you count the, the, the beats for 10 seconds. You multiply that by six, that gives you the, the minutes. So then you have your actual heart rate, which should be around 175, 180, close to the maximum. Then you wait for it to come down, you just walk again. Just walk for another five, 10 minutes, and then you do another sprint. And do that, repeat that two, three, four, five times, you know, just do short little sprints. That's fantastic. The sprinting activates the fast twitch muscle, which greatly breaks down the muscle and rebuilds it faster and bigger, leaner bubble. And that process, in turn, uh, burns fat in your body all day long. Not just for half an hour or during the process where you're actually aerobic, aerobic exercise, for example, you're only burning fat when you're doing the exercise and the sprinting, you're burning fat after the sprinting, pretty much all day long, so it's wonderful. Great way to burn fat, so lose, lose excess weight, and build lean muscle. That's the way it is. Sprinters, you know, they're bulky. It's not because they're going to the gym, it's because they're sprinting. That's the reason. It just builds the muscle up in the body. Number four, the most important. The most important to hear is your food. Because without the right food intake, none of this is going to work. Because 80, 85 percent of your optimal body weight goals are reached by eating the right food. Now, what is the right food? It's definitely not bread, pasta, rice, noodles, and so on. Packaged food, chips, potatoes. No, it really isn't. Cereals. You've got to trust me on this one. I've been doing this for six years now, almost seven, the keto diet. They call it keto. I call it healthy living by following natural principles. Basically, I avoid anything made with grains or wheats, no processed foods, no fast foods. I just eat natural, healthy, clean. Meat, fish, seafood, tons of veggies, avocados, eggs in abundance, healthy oils like olive oil, coconut oil, butter, and lots of spices, lots of um, red, hot, red hot chili peppers, they're great, lots full of antioxidants and vitamin C, and garlic and onion, things like that. So when you combine your food with those ingredients, you've got a wonderful mix of, of flavors, 
and then you can just mix it up with with mince, with chicken, you can make meatballs, you can make stroganoff, chicken or beef stroganoff, I mean it's endless. I put a, a, a meal plan on my blog which you can look at. So anyway, you have to eat the right type of food, you have to get off sugar, you have to get off wheat and grains, and you have to eat healthy, clean, natural foods, and that's it. Once you do that and you complete your food intake with the proper, easy-going fitness movement routine, like I just explained, you're going to succeed, and you'll be healthy and happy, and it'll increase the longevity, you'll feel great, and the pounds will drop off, folks. It's true. Try it, rockshealthcrush.com. Go there, fantastic stuff.